In this video, I'm going to show you how to fit one or more SSDs into the hard drive bays of either the Z600 or the Z800. The Z800, pictured here, has four hard drive bays and the Z600 has two hard drive bays. Removing a hard drive is very simple. Just press the green button, this releases the lever. Pull the lever down and this will release the hard drive from the SATA connectors at the back. Then it's a very simple matter to pull the hard drive forward and remove it. And then we can remove all the other hard drive caddies, leaving the bays completely empty. And what you can see now are the four SATA connectors at the back of the hard drive bays. Because an SSD is much smaller and lighter than a mechanical hard drive, we don't need an SSD caddy. All we need to do is position it correctly against the SATA connectors at the back of the bay and then gently but firmly push it all the way in. The SATA connectors will hold it firmly in position. Now the hard drive on the Z800 or the Z600 is held into the caddy by four clips. It really is a matter to replace it of just pulling back the plastic and easing it out. We don't need to do that with this mechanical hard drive because three of the um, caddies are empty. And all we need to do is now push it back in, the empty one, Unfortunately there's a problem because the, the front right hand clip now hits against the back of the SSD. We need to remove that clip to ease it in. Don't try and push it past the SSD because you'll damage it and the connectors at the back. It's a simple matter to remove the clip, a pair of pliers, pull it back towards a large hole at the back through which it's designed to come in and out. A um, little bit of force is needed but out it comes. And now it's a simple matter to push the hard drive caddy back in and now it slides past the SSD with no problem at all. It doesn't move the SSD, doesn't put any stress on it. And that's it. The only thing is now, for the purists, the SSD is still floating. It's only a, a few millimetres above the plastic strengthening bar on the hard drive. But, to make sure that nothing happens to it, what I do, there's the plastic strengthening bar, what I use is a simple roll of double-sided foam tape. I just cut one to about two and a half or two inches. This is it. Just unreal it. There's the sticky side. It has two sticky sides in fact. The top one, the glossy side, comes off usually so you can stick it to anything then stick something onto something else. But in this case all we need to do is cut about two inches of it or an inch and a half or whatever and put two layers of it onto the plastic bar. There it is. I leave the glossy part of it on because I don't want it sticking to the SSD. There's no point. Once that's done it's a simple matter of just replacing the hard drive like the hard drive caddy I mean like that. The SSD now sits very easily on it. That's it and there. The SSD now rests upon it. There's no stress on it at all. And that's it. We've now put an SSD into the hard into the hard drive bay of a Z800 or Z600. No need for SSD caddies or anything like that at all. And once that's done, we can just reassemble the other hard drive caddies, push them in, put them in put the mechanical drive back if you wish. At this stage we've now got one SSD in and one hard drive caddy.
or any combination that you want. And once the other hard drive caddy goes into position, we have a nice, neat setup. And there it is. And that's it. And that's how to fit an SSD into the hard drive bay of a Z800 or Z600. A very simple five, ten minute job at most. I hope you liked this video and if you did give me a like and maybe subscribe to my channel and watch out for the next edition of Working on the Z800s.